if you're going to be dumpster diving, it's really easy to become a hoarder. You know, <laughs> you find so much stuff. To, like I found this Elmo doll and all these books. And I, I checked these books through Amazon. And, and they were worth, you know, a dollar here and a dollar there, a couple dollars. You know, but it was, it's really not worth the time storing them. And maybe they won't sell, you know, and you, and you just end up with a bunch of clutter. So, you know, you, you can become a hoarder, you know, just you know, real easy doing this stuff. So, like, and like this Elmo doll, he's, you know, he, I could sell him on eBay. I, they sell on eBay for like, you know, a little bit of money. But this one here, you know, he's kind of, he's a little dirty. He, he needs to be washed. And I could wash him up and sell him on eBay for a few dollars, you know, a few dollars profit. But uh, I just take, I'm, I'm here at the library, and what I'll do with this kind of stuff is I'll just nonchalantly, like, put him right here, you know, like this, the library door, you know. And for free, for free, that's a real valuable deal for someone, you know. And uh, give me a can while I'm here. <laughs> But you know, you just you just constantly got to get rid of stuff. If you don't if you don't constantly get rid of stuff, you you will, you will literally become a hoarder. So you know, you just gotta constantly get rid of stuff. And if you don't, you'll just have a mess on your hands. So it's better just to get rid of it than you know. If, if you make just a, a dollar, two dollars, you know, three dollars or something, but you know, it takes months to sell, and is, is it even worth it, you know, uh, the time it takes to list it and store it, and uh, package it up, get the box material, you know, go to the post office, you know, all, all the time it takes to make just a, a dollar or two or even three dollars, you know. You know, is, is, is it is it even worth it you know yeah you, know, you keep a bunch of stuff like that around and you just become a hoarder real easy I mean so it just it's just a constant constant flow of getting rid of stuff it's just you just have to do it if, if you're in this type of business you know you just it just has to be done <laughs> there's no way around it this is some stuff I actually found in a previous video I checked it out and these plates were only worth a few dollars and they each have a little tiny little tiny chip on the edge nothing bad and then this these deals here similar items from that company sold for uh, like 20 to 60 dollars which I was surprised but when I it looks like there was supposed to be another little bird down there and it's broke. And then I also <laughs> I also broke the tail off of him. So that's nothing you want to keep laying around. So I'm just gonna set it here by this dumpster. And you know, especially these plates, someone will come by and use these plates. You know, someone might use these plates for you know a decade or two, you know. Or it might just all end up someone might just throw it. That's my bag. <laughs> Somebody might. It's, it's raining out, so I'm keeping my stuff dry. But uh, you know, someone might just come by, like the landlord or something, and might just throw it in the dumpster anyway. So it might end up in the dumpster. But anyways, uh, don't be a hoarder. <laughs> you just constantly got to get rid of stuff, and that's a good way to do it, right there, y'all. More than likely, someone's gonna come by and snatch them plates up. And it's raining out, and the good thing about doing this on a motorcycle is, you know, you're already wearing a helmet, so all you gotta do is throw on you some little bit of waterproof overwear, and you know, you're basically ready to go. But I need to figure out how to keep my camera dry. That's a different story. So. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, this is the vultures roost, my storage unit, and as you can see, I'm making uh, 
I'm making a don't be a hoarder video. And I thought I'd show this thing real quick. That's actually not that bad. I, I just got all the scrap metal right here. Like th those totes you can see right there. They're all packed up and ready to go. I just need to, just need to grab them. And uh, I'll, you know, I'll just take them in. I think those microwaves, that's not as bad as it looks. It's just right here in front. Back in there, and I got I got that. Uh, there's the vulture right there. I got I got a clothes rack in there, and all my Amazon books are back there in, in that corner back there. Yeah, uh, there's a bunch of totes you can't see back in there too, full of books, and I got some packing supplies over there, and my old motorcycle's buried under there. <laughs> and uh but it's actually fairly organized I, I just gotta just gotta get rid of all this scrap metal right here but the reason i'm making this video right now is i wanted to show you these clothes i got this pile of clothes a while back and uh i'm gonna go through them right now and pick out what i want to keep and sell and i'm gonna take the rest to uh one of those donation, one of those big steel donation containers you see in front of thrift stores. All right, I separated it into the stuff I'm going to keep, uh, stuff I'm going to donate, and stuff I'm going to sell. And here's the stuff I'm going to donate right here. It's a pair of dockers. They're a little too big for me. And, and I'm just going to donate them. And these... Uh, Cam a couple camouflage t-shirts. I think they're brand new. Outfitters Ridge and jerseys outdoors. But uh, I'm just going to donate those. I don't think I could sell those dockers. I, I might be able to sell them, uh, I suppose. But you know, I'm making a don't be a hoarder video, so I'm <laughs> just getting rid of stuff. But here's the stuff I'm going to try to sell. Got this green extra large polo. Got this Arkansas jersey. And there's no tags in it or nothing. Yeah, it makes me wonder if it's a legitimate player's jersey. Being as I'm um, near the University of Arkansas. No tags or nothing. Number 22, Arkansas. I'm going to hold on to that one and try to sell it maybe. And I got this blue polo, extra large. With the yellow horse, I got this white polo. It's a large, it's a button down. And I'm gonna I'm wash all this stuff one time. Make sure it's all nice and clean. It appears to be pretty clean. I have to, have to see if this white one, this white one might not be sellable, but I'll check it out. And this one's got some food on it, but I think that'll come out in the washer. This is another blue polo with a red horse, extra large. So I'm gonna keep that to sell it. And this over here, these are just my size right here. A pair of jeans. Lucky brand, 36, 32. Keep that for myself. A pair of cargo pants. They aren't too bad. Keep them for myself. They might be a little long, but that's good for riding a motorcycle though. There might be some good motorcycle riding jeans for me right there. Or cargo pants. This other stuff I'm gonna keep here for myself. Uh, brand new, looks like it's brand new salt life shirt another salt life shirt and uh this is a long sleeve nice clean shirt you know it's a john deere classic but you know that's something i can wear to ride my bike around but anyways off to the donation center but first a uh, word from our sponsors i do like cookies <laughs> All right, so how about that new sponsor we got? <laughs> you know, you, probably, you might be thinking, uh, you know, why is he getting rid of that? He could sell it, you know. And yeah, actually, I, I probably could sell that stuff. It's in nice enough condition, you know, it could almost pass for new. But see, so you start holding on to everything, and that's that's the mentality. That's the mentality that goes into being a hoarder, you know. And, <laughs> The, the amount of stuff you come across dumpster driving that that is on the fringe of sellable and keepable and not sellable you know in that middle ground you know it's just tons of it and so you know you get stuck in that 
that habit of wanting to keep stuff and and you're gonna fill up your storage unit your apartment your house your basement you're just gonna fill it up so just just don't be a hoarder there it is <laughs> it, it might be hard to do to get rid of some stuff you know but you know you might plan for some stuff like you know, I'm gonna do this project sometime I'm gonna do this project some other time you know out in the future you know and uh, you know I just a lot, a lot of that a lot of that mentality is just is just bad you know some of it might be good but you know you might have like your pet project but a lot of that stuff man you just got to move on you know what i'm saying